sweet. Gentle. Curious. Determined. Anxious. Afraid. I can find her. She's alive. She's alive for now. But if the traffickers have her, she's in a living hell. Do you have what I asked you for? Right here. I put a photo of Amy in there, and also Fred's business card, so that you'll have our phone number. And I know it's not required, but you find cash that I raised from selling my Mustang. What keepsake do you have of Amy's in here? It's a stuffed bunny, named Beans. She sleeps with him every night. That'll work. I know why you need Amy's rabbit, but why the purple bag? It's personal. I'll keep Mahoney up to date on everything. Send all communication through him. Just a sec. I'm not sure what to call you, but... The media has several nicknames for me. Just pick one. Guardian Angel. That'll work. I just wanted to say that we guarded Amy. Not like an angel would, but you know, internet rules. Don't talk to strangers. No tight or revealing clothes. She was taken while walking home from school. It's only three blocks away, for God's sake. This is Boca Raton, not my hammy. We didn't do anything wrong. He knows, honey. He read the report. Right, right. We aren't bad parents. That's all I'm trying to say. Trust me. I believe you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Deep End. I'm your host, Derek Waters. And tonight in the studio, we have a treat. She is the leading researcher in her field of clinical neuroscience at Columbia University. Please welcome to The Deep End, Dr. Rachel Meyer. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, let's dive right in. This guardian angel has been causing quite a commotion across all media platforms because of these rescue stories that have been associated with his name. Now, Dr. Meyer, in your research, have you ever come across anyone who could smell another person's soul? No, I have not. Now, I gotta be honest with you. If he were to smell the souls of my kids, I'm pretty sure he would pass out because those suckers are spoiled rotten. <laughs> well, I don't have kids. So let me ask you, could this possibly be just an exaggerated media hoax? Actually, no. A vast amount of evidence shows that the brain can reorganize itself. If the brain is devoid of information in one sensory modality, it can assist and enhance other senses, such as smelling. Mind blown. Okay, so how is this even possible? Cross-modal neuroplasticity is a phenomenon that typically occurs when the senses are deprived because of illness or brain injury. We've seen that traumatic events can alter the brain biologically, Depending on how intense the trauma, the brain can rewire itself in ways we've never seen before. Huh. Something like that. Mike? You got the Castillo girl already? No. Skip to number two on the list. Amy Horowitz. White, 12 years old, blonde, blue eyes, prime target. The nail fine customer. I'll add the new info to the file, but what about the Casillo girl? She, she's got the look, right? I saw the photo. She's close, but her history checks out. She's not Emily. Besides, Horowitz is younger. It's a clear case of abduction. It's my call. Oh, as always. Uh, but Castillo was last seen in Homestead, and you're in... Here's the file. 
You're now in Boca Raton. What is that, an hour from Homestead? An hour and a half. Still close enough for me to head back after I find Horowitz. Okay, boss. I'll see if I can rustle up a handoff for Amy in Boca Raton. No fangirls this time. Any other news? Typical overnight load. Five more super urgent please to find kids. 15 interview requests. 16,000 alerts on your media nicknames. Someone created a guardian angel sweatshirt and wants your permission to market it. Market it? Yeah, guardian angel is your number one nickname. It's even trending on Twitter. More like squawker. I don't care about the sweatshirts. I have to go. Do the normal with the interviews. No problem. Need anything else for me? Roses for Deb and a Lego set for Tommy. I think I made some decent cash this time, so we'll make it special. I have it there by noon. Though, <laughs> Deb will probably toss the roses again. Hey, take care of yourself. You sound terrible. Migraine's coming on. That meds with me. So you just keep popping those pills. When was the last time you slept? What's it to you? You're my manager, not my mother. And you're my paycheck. I have to keep you alive. Good luck with that. Invitation said to go to Russell's house in the rain, but Storm still weighs off. Storm? They probably just wanted to keep it safe. Storm? It's okay, so. honey. It's okay. Protect me from the storm, Dad! Man up, Tommy. You can handle this. Can you fix Rupert, Daddy? I can't. I don't have any glue. Glue won't fix what you've broken, Mike. You looking for the block party? Yeah, it's at the Russell's house now, right? No, they changed it. It's gonna be at the Thompson's now. I'm here to let everybody who shows up know. Thompson's. Yeah, I can take you guys there. You guys go ahead. Tommy and I will stay here and let anyone else know. Can you carry me, Daddy? Like you're carrying Rupert? It'll be faster if we don't. Big girls don't cry, do they? Oh, the sugar daddy. Oh, this shouldn't be here. I'll throw this away. This path just leads deeper into the woods. No, no, we're fine. If you just go a few more steps, it leads to a clearing.
so sorry, Emily. I wasn't able to protect you from the wolves. What do you want? Pizza delivery. Better hurry, it's getting cold. We didn't order no pizza. Get lost. You sure? Amy Horowitz, I know I'll get the right address. Right? Look, I told you, we didn't order anything. Look, the guy told me to look for a Chevy. It's right outside parked. I saw it. That's not my Chevy. Hey, look, he told me Amy Horwitz has a birthday today, right? I have a present for her in my pocket. Her birthday. Tell me how you knew she was here. Pepperoni and cheese. I don't know. Rubio! Did you order a pizza? Oh. You guys are starting on me. Jackson, you're up. Who are you? Put your hands on top of your head. Turn around, slowly. Get against the wall. Hands on the wall, feet out wide. You a cop? You wish. Come down slowly.
joke you, didn't they? I see blood. Where are you hurt? Here. That man will never hurt you again. I promise. friend. I'm taking you to your parents. Where are my pants? They should be in your lap. There's a purple duffel bag back there with panties that should fit you and some sanitary pads. I'm sorry I don't have any shoes for you. One of them fell off when they took you and I guess they ditched the other one. Maybe. I don't remember. Call Mahoney. Did you get her? Yeah. She's drugged. Semi-conscious. The trauma drama hasn't started yet. They were shooting a video with her, so probably didn't want her to be too wiped out. She'll clear up soon. How many kidnappers? Two. One's dead for sure. Broken neck. He was a big guy. I took a baseball bat to him. The other one's probably dead by now. I stabbed him in the stomach. <laughs> Sounds like quite a brawl. They weren't together. I was able to take them out one by one. I got lucky. Lucky works in the pinch. Your text with the address came in a while back. I'll call the police right after I contact Amy's folks. And I got a handoff. I'm sending the address of the meeting place to your phone. She'll expect you there in 20 minutes. Perfect. No fangirl, right? Sounded pretty down to earth to me. Hold on, I gotta look at my screen for a second. Okay, I'm back. I'm picturing you driving with your knees. No, my nose. <laughs> the wonders of that nose. I'm sure you scoured the place for Emily leads. I got a phone to analyze. I'll let you know what I find. Well, if you need to break into it, give me a call. I'm the Prince of Passwords. I don't expect to find much, but I am curious about their marching orders. Apparently they were shooting a porno with her before bringing in the other men to... <sighs> Scumbags, all too well. Who are you? What did you do to me? Gotta go. Amy, have you heard of the guardian angel? Who hasn't? What about it? I'm the angel, and I just rescued you. Is, is that why I'm... someone raped me? Amy, I'm sorry, I was too late to stop him. The guy who did it is... You can sit up here with me if you want. I'd rather not. I understand. Of course you're scared. I'd be scared too. I don't know how long it would take me to get my courage back. Just let me know if you change your mind. Okay. Your parents send beans with me. I guess you really are the guardian angel. And I killed the monster that raped you. I do anything to protect you. I'm coming to the front. What time is it? It's almost evening. How far is it to my parents' house? It's not far, but. I'm taking a woman who'll drive you home. The police will be there, though. I have a lot of questions. I remember. The guardian angel doesn't want to be seen by anyone. That's why you're wearing a mask. And the woman I'm taking you to might be wearing one as well. 
Sometimes the women try to imitate me. It's sort of a fan thing. Why can't you take me yourself? You can keep your mask on. It's complicated. We always phone ahead to let the parents know the child's coming home. Sometimes they call the media, so I can't be there. Too many questions. Reporters might try to follow me. It's always better for girls to be with women anyway. We always pick moms who have daughters. They can help you with things that I can't handle. She might even take you to the hospital first to check for injury or whatever else they need to check. So when you drop me off, I won't see you anymore? Not likely. But I'll be watching the media reports. They always show a reunion of a happy family with rescue victims. I'll be sure to wave to you. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you for making my life worth living. I guess you need this back. No, no. Keep it. Something to remember me by. Thank you. I love the color. You're welcome. So you'll remember me? I can't. Don't you want to remember me? Of course I do. But I can't take something you sleep with. I have this. I'll sleep with it every night. I'll feel like my guardian angel's watching me. Excuse me. Is Amy ready? Password? A355L159. She's not wearing any shoes, so make sure you watch out where she steps, okay? Do you need me to carry you, sweetheart? No, I'm fine. Bye. Amy, wait. What? Come here. I'll sleep in it every night. And I'll think about you. Don't forget to watch for my weight. I just want to tell you that I'm your biggest fan. And I want to be your handoff anytime you're in the area. Thank you, but Choose a hand out to the Mahoney Department. You do a good job with Amy. I'll make sure you go to the top of the list. Oh, I will. Trust me, I am a mama bear. I need to say this. You're a great man and a true hero. I hope my son turns out as brave as you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but she's been raped. You need to get her to the ER as soon as possible. Raped? Oh my God.
creative. Brave. Sacrificial. Affectionate. my heart. 